I want to share with you how I passed my FAA Part 107 drone certification exam. I got a 90%. Started studying on a Tuesday morning and took the test on that Friday morning. So three solid days of studying. I started where most start by watching Tony Northup's video, Free Drone Certification Study Guide. It has over 2 million views for a reason. Tony is a fantastic teacher and just does a really remarkable job of breaking down all the terms and facts. He throws in sample questions. He was the best at explaining the META reports, in my opinion. It's just absolutely where I would start if I were you. I took notes on everything he spoke about. I just got pages here. And just, you know, learning that FAA jargon is just really, really necessary. He also reminds you, it sounds really dumb, but um, he also reminds you the very simple fact that the chart legend for the sectional charts, which I'll talk in a minute, is at the beginning of the sectional chart book that you're given at the exam site. And uh, this was really helpful for me because I just had a hard time diagrammatically remembering the various class airspaces and just there's just a ton of info on those things and they're all mentioned and labeled in the legend. And I just, I constantly referenced the legend in the test. I mean, that's why it's there. And so more on sectional charts in a bit. Um, all that to say, starting with Tony was a huge part of my success in the test. I did read some of the YouTube comments under his video of people writing like, you know, I watched the video once, took the test and passed and was, you know, pretty excited by that. Um, and so I took a practice test after watching the video and I failed. And so that takes me to where Tony's video didn't quite fulfill the necessary requirements to pass the test. And I want to be clear, that's for me. I'm a very visual learner and there's just a few things that Tony didn't quite give me the best picture of the information I needed. And so for those other visual learners out there, I just wanted to share a few additional resources that might be helpful. The first one is sectional charts and runway information. I just mentioned these a minute earlier. This stuff is really complex. And so I just loved John Peltier's video, FAA part 107 chart reading question walkthrough. He teaches you how to read sectional charts and runway information as he goes through sample questions, like real sample questions. He's very calm, clear, and just has these simple graphics that are just super helpful in learning how to read these complex charts. And then to understand like how a plane is landing and how they talk to air traffic control. I mean, it's an impossible task to understand unless you know how to methodically break it down. And John does this. And after I watched his video, I got every sectional chart question right on all practice tests going forward. Second thing is weather. There are so many weather conditions that you need to be aware of. And they were just all getting mixed up in my mind. And so again, as a visual learner, I went and saw a video that visually showed me these weather conditions and it helped. It's a two part series called Drone Pilot Training Weather Theory. And there's a part one and part two. They're pretty short. One I think is 16 minutes, the other is 10. You know, it is kind of like watching a middle school science class video with kind of like that GPS like voice narrator. But just for me, it was super helpful. You know, those graphics were just kind of seeing the shape of clouds, you know, in relation to their name was really, really helpful for me. And so I totally recommend those videos as well. And then the last thing is it's a couple of things, but the solutions are the same. First, since Tony made his video several years ago, there is new information on the tests in regards to flying at night, flying over people, and just a few other things that you need to know. And second, the language. Like I mentioned, Tony does mention a few things in the FAA lingo, but seeing them in literal question and answer format over and over again, it's really mind boggling. And so you need to start preparing your brain to understand the language they use and the answers they're looking for. And so the solution to these is to take practice tests, like a lot of them. I took so many. The best practice test that I took was the free FAA exam on the King Schools website. And what I love about their tests is you can keep retaking them and the questions change. You can also choose the amount of questions you want to take. If you just want to start with 10 questions, just to kind of get used to it, up to, you know, all the way up to 60. I just kept taking 60 because I knew that is the test, 60 questions. I just kept taking them over and over again. I just loved that those questions 
constantly changed. But the other helpful part is that you will also see similar or even some of the same questions as you retake over and over. But to me, it was really beneficial because when you got a question wrong, it'll tell you the right answer. At the very end, it'll tell you what your score is. And then you just scroll down, it'll give you what was the right answer, what was the wrong answer. And so you don't look at those because sometimes like there were two that were kind of close and, and you can read, oh, what is that language that is the correct answer? Sometimes you're just wrong and now you know what the right answer is. And so you're just gonna, you're gonna build more knowledge like what are the rules for flying at night? You're gonna get a lot of those questions. You're gonna find out the answers, boom. Because in the end, when you take that 60 question test, you can get 18 wrong to pass. That would be 70%. And so as I was taking the exam, I would actually mark on a sheet of paper which questions I wasn't 100% sure on. And you can actually bookmark the questions on the exam on the computer. Um, you know, there's like a little practice test beforehand to show you kind of how the, you know, the, the page works, the, the test kind of set up. It's really easy. Um, but for me, I just, I wanted to see them visually. Again, visual learner. And so I was kind of like writing them out. And of the questions that I was not 100% sure on, there were 20 of them. Um, I must mention, I'm a terrible multiple choice test taker. I'm always thinking like, hmm, why did they throw that as a possible answer in there? You know, and so it messes with my brain. Um, you know, even being super confident with all the information, it is what it is. Again, some of them were just like, I think I have it right, but you know, why would they throw that in there? And so in the end of those 20 questions, what did I do? I just answered the best answer based on the language that I've learned from just taking so many practice tests. And so, you know, it worked. Obviously I didn't, of the 20, I knew a majority of them. It was just my mind. But <clears throat> anyway, I hope you find this process to be helpful for you. Um, the links to each of the videos in the description is below. Um, and good luck.